Hello again. We've got the same drizzle intermittently today as we had yesterday, unfortunately. But I've waited to, for a little bit of a, a bright spot to come out. So we'll make of it what we can. Got to go down to the doctor's, drop off mum's prescription for her. So that's a slightly different, you know, start to the video. And I'm um, going to do a really different start to the video by going back up that way. I'll explain why in a second. Going to walk along the other side there by those houses. So, you'll remember the other day, I did three pictures, all to do with this bridge here that I'm walking over, where it was being uh, repaired or replaced or something was going on. There was big girders and cranes, etc., etc., and we were trying to date it. And there were three pictures, which I will flash up now, just in case anyone doesn't remember what I'm talking about. So, I've come across a fourth one in the set of pitches, which I didn't know about. I'm going to go and do that one now. And it also, according to the picture, gives us an actual date. So as they were all taken on the same date, we can safely say that we have a date for the pictures now. I shall line him up and off we go. So here we go from about here, bonus train in this clip. You can still see the houses top right, which go along behind the railway station. And although Brookhill School, which will be top left, is gone, you can still see the um, buildings which make up Orchard Gardens. Anyway, here's the picture. And the date I have for all those pictures is 1970. Could be wrong, of course, because Facebook dates are Facebook dates. But that's the date I've got, 1970. Right, let's get down to the doctors. 17, 18 mile an hour wind today, which you may or may not hear. As I say, depending on how the wind blocker is feeling on the phone. <laughs> St Michael's at 11 o'clock. Lovely. And we walk down what is called officially the street with no name. Nothing to do with you two, the band. But there we are. There's the official council erected sign. Shame we don't have one that's officially on the other one, Pothole Street. Sky looking fairly ominous in that direction. But uh, clouds moving from right to left. So possibly we have that to look forward to. Possibly. There we go. That's the uh, prescription dropped off. Let's take a walk along the seafront. We have a little bit of beach. Look at that, we're spoiling ourselves. Lovely. Well, good job I do have the wind blocker under here. You will be absolutely blown away with this. Keep this wall, this curved wall in mind, because we'll be coming back to this later. It's called the Hegedon Sea Wall. It's the official name of it. There is a plaque just around the corner here. 
which may or may not be visible. I've shown it before, but I'll show it again. There we are. Hagerden Seawall, completed in 1977. Well, in a bit further up, we'll have a picture of it being built. Not the best picture in the world, but a picture nonetheless. So keep in mind that curved wall. Yeah, I nearly lost my hat a couple of times walking along here. I'm sure this is more than 17, 18 miles an hour. Okay, so before the curved wall was built, the Hegedon Sea Wall, just like up here, but the point, that's what the wall used to look like all the way along the seafront. But here is a picture of them building what I believe is actually this part of the wall here. It's hard to tell because it's uh, not the best photo, it's a photo of a photo, if that makes sense. Someone's taking a photo of a photo with their phone. But um, I'm going to say it's around here, it's this bit of the wall because of the pier being slightly visible, I think, in the uh, picture. Anyway, here you go, let me know what you think. So there we go, Hagerden Sea Wall being built. And I can remember that in my lifetime too, all the disruption and the uh, sort of building materials and the heavy machinery down here. But it seems to have worked, done this job, and we're zooming in on some work that's taking place on Shoulder Beach. Can't see too much myself through the little tiny phone screen, but should be able to see what's going on. Quite a few people there. Here it is in scale. And it's just starting to rain. There's the uh, shed that was nearly washed away, the beach hut. Pretty much back to normal coverage of the sand underneath now. Nice bit of the point there. Again, the 1930s breakwater, back to normal, pretty much covered apart from up, up at that end, which is how it should be. There's the people on the beach over there in the distance, the workers. Ness House Hotel and Ness. And plenty of birds there on that little sandbank which is formed at the mouth of the river. They seem to be having a good time. Just a quick view up the uh, up the back beach from the point. Have a quick pan round. Not a quick, but a nice slow one, really. Lots of birds out there. See right ahead. Crab Shack, shipping, and the uh, New Key Inn up ahead.
possibly you can see the drizzle coming down now against the captain's table well we've done all right for the weather so far so if it does kick in now can't really complain so our charge points still not operational of course but there they are nonetheless Now, when I did that retrospective on the uh, Carlton Theatre, as was, about a week or so ago, one of my comments was asking me about the old information bureau that used to be here. And um, that's it, basically. It's now the cherry on the top ice cream shop. But that building's sort of always been there. Not sure it's been quite as long towards me, but that end bit there with the uh, weather vane on the roof has always uh, been there. And that used to be the little tourist information bureau where you could get maps and find out about local places and do, you know, touristy things in the summer. Right, I'm not going to head home quite just yet. I'm going to do a little quick lap all around the top of the den just to get some extra steps in. At least the rain has held off. Still to hear any news whatsoever about the plans to put the toilets underneath this area here, in behind those doors. That was the plan when they put the temporary ones up. And it looks like the temporary ones are going to be pretty much permanent now. Be nice to see the bowling and green again being used when the weather picks up. In fact, when the weather picks up, I've got quite a few things I'm looking forward to doing. I'm going to go over to Dawlish, do some stuff in Dawlish on the lawn with the drone. I want to get up Lee Mount when it opens in Dawlish another time. I've got um well, I've got a few Dawlish trips planned actually, with specific sort of themes to them. I've got one that's all to do with the swans, which I'm going to do at one point or another. I've got one I'm going to call Dawlish Doubles, where I've got a sort of a then and now pictures side by side, but it's like, say, 1900 and then 1950 next to each other. And then I'm going to come along and pop in a modern day next to those. So that'll be my Dawlish Doubles set. Yeah, I've got lots of stuff in the pipeline. Just waiting for the weather, really. Bus jam. I think they're just having a chat. Someone having a Wren kitchen installed. Delivering all the units now into Beach Court. At the bottom of Dawlis Street. We should walk down earlier, didn't we? And there we are, back again to nearly when I started with that first then and now. I think I'll just run through those then and nows for you again quickly. Just flash them up while they're here in my editing program. Here you go.
And with that, I'm going to love you and leave you. Not sure what the weather's due to be doing tomorrow. So I don't know if I'll be going far or I'll be going near. But I'll be going somewhere. Hopefully you'll come and join me. So take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.